more champions all the time. One of my favorite moments about a month ago was when Congressman Javier Becerra from California grilled an insurance uh, executive in testimony. He just took the guy apart. Congressman Javier Becerra. <laughs> Good afternoon, America! Is California in the house? Is labor in the house? Is working America in the house? Is America that wants real, affordable health care in the house today in Washington, D.C.? We want to say something to you. Thank you. Thank you for traveling from every corner of America to be here in the people's house to get what the people want, meaningful health care reform. Thank you for that. And I personally want to say thank you for giving me a chance to take off my suit and roll up my sleeves. Are you ready to roll up your sleeves? I didn't hear you. Are you ready to roll up your sleeves? from Los Angeles, California, home of those Los Angeles Lakers. Let them know you're ready to roll up your sleeves in L.A. Now you tell me, when we do this reform for you, whose choice is it who you decide will be your doctor, an insurance company's or yours? You tell me, whose choice is it? What doctor you go to, what hospital do you go to, whether you see a dentist or you see an obstetrician, whose choice is it, yours or an insurance company's? And you tell me, whose choice is it? Is it yours or a bureaucrat in government decides what doctor or hospital you go to, yours or a bureaucrat's? At the end of the day, the choice is yours. And so we need you today. There's a man that you and I know as a friend, but now as a leader in America, who said for a good two years, my friends in America, we must work hard. We must change this country. We must take it in a new direction because times are tough for America's working people. And he said to people who said, you can't do that, Barack Obama. Barack Obama said something to America. Yes, we can. I ask all of you today, as you get ready to go lobby the halls of Congress, can we change this country for a better health care system for all Americans? Can we make sure that the choice of what doctor we go to is ours, not an insurance company's or not the government's? Can we make sure that at the end of the day, you and I, whether we're rich or poor, can afford to have health insurance for our kids, our parents, our loved ones? Yes, we can. So are you ready to roll up your sleeves, work hard, and make it happen for all of America? Yes. Then we are with you. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, it's union time. Who's here from unions across the country? Let me give a special shout out to the CWA in red shirts. Hey, hey, CWA, are we ready to fight back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all here. A united labor movement. A united movement to change our country. A united movement for health care for all. All of us from labor know that we can't just take care of health care at the bargaining table. The bargaining table is being crushed. We need to bring back bargaining rights, bring back organizing rights, and fight together for health care for all. Health care for all. Whether we're active workers or retired workers, it's one fight. We're all workers. We're all fighting for health care for all. And we send a message to our employers. Get off our backs cutting health care. Off our backs, get by our side. Let's fight together for health care for all. Off our backs, by our side. Fight together. Health care for all. And we say, 
We say to, we say to the deadbeat employers, the employers that don't provide health care, we will fight here for the employer mandate that you must play, provide health care, or you will pay. You must play or you will pay. No more deadbeat employers. So we're tired, all union sisters and brothers, all across America, we're tired of playing defense on health care. Tens of thousands of us are here today. It's time for offense. We're fighting back. We're fighting for health care for all. And we're going to win the fight together. Thank you.